Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. And today, we look at the question. We ask the question. Is Tyson Fury injured ahead of his rematch with Deontay Wilder? You see, there's been some rumors, rumors of rumors, that Tyson Fury has had a troublesome training camp ahead of Wilder Fury 2. Okay, so today we take a look at that rumor and ask, is it more than a rumor? And we try to substantiate the claim. Okay, so let's go. So, Eddie Hearn was in an interview and uh, made a remark that uh, Tyson Fury may not have had the best camp he could have. Okay, so let's take a look at let's take a look at that. Okay, so Tyson Fury has had, has had a troublesome training camp for his rematch with Deontay Wilder, according to Eddie Hearn. Okay, so let's have a look. So, the former lineal heavyweight champion Tyson Fury will look to improve his controversial split draw with American Deontay Wilder this Saturday, 22nd of February. Okay, so Fury has made a number of big changes ahead of his second clash with the Browns Bomber, bringing in a new head coach and moving his training camp to Las Vegas, says the article. The 31-year-old looked to be in tremendous shape ahead of his second crack at the WBC title, which has been in wildest possession since 2015. Hearn, however, has heard the former unified heavyweight champion's training camp hasn't gone swimmingly well. <laughs> okay. All right. We're not going to talk about uh, Tyson Fury's method of uh, strengthening strengthening his jaw. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So, Hearn says... I've heard a few things in the camp. It might be rubbish, but I do think Wilder will win by a stoppage, he said during an appearance on Talk Sport. Then that's the radio show. Okay, so, despite believing Fury will come up short in his bid to dethrone Wilder, Hearn admits he'd like to see the Brit come out of a contest victorious. Hearn goes on to say, I also see Tyson Fury make the fight because one thing is for sure, he will fight Anthony Joshua. He actually wants to fight. He wants to fight Joshua. And I know Joshua wants to fight Fury. It's a very quick deal to make. Wilder said Joshua is not relevant. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. And I think I think uh, I think Eddie Hearn there is referring to to an interview given by Deontay Wilder where he said that Anthony Joshua is not relevant. I did a video on it. How can the unified heavyweight champion not be relevant, but the guy with one belt be relevant or more relevant? I think that's uh, cockamamie, cockamamie talk by Deontay Wilder. Okay. Eddie Hearn goes on to say, Joshua owns four belts and is the biggest star of the heavyweight division. So, of course, he's relevant. 
but he wants to fight the winner because he can't call himself undisputed otherwise. Okay, I've had a look. I've had a look around the web and I can't find any information to substantiate the claim that Tyson Fury is injured or nursing an injury. Um, is it true? It may be, but there is no substantiating evidence to suggest it is. So my assessment on is Tyson Fury injured ahead of the fight with Deontay Wilder? My assessment is no. There is no substantiating evidence to support the hypothesis. So I say fear not on February the 22nd or 23rd in the UK. We'll find out if we have a new WBC champion in Tyson Fury, who Eddie Hearn says will agree to fight Joshua, or we find out if we still have the current WBC champion in Deontay Wilder, a guy who says that Anthony Joshua is irrelevant and so sets sets the sets the table paves the way for not fighting Anthony Joshua. Seems like Deontay Wilder is content with holding on to his one belt rather than going for the whole enchilada, the whole thing. Seems Deontay Wilder would rather just have the WBC belt settle with that than dare to be great and go for undisputed. I don't know, that's the hypothesis. What say you? It's the Raphael Dawkins, it's the Combat Radio, it's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comment, it's the shares, and it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget the live show, Mondays and Wednesdays, 10 p.m. UK time. Boxing Talk with Rafi. And, uh, I'm out.